Hello and welcome to my new Armor Paint tutorial. In this video you will learn how to work with layers and masks. I hope you will enjoy it. First things first I import my object into Armor Paint. So now we that imported the object we can start. If you don't know what layers are then you should watch this. Layers are basically just layers where you paint stuff. That means you can paint on a layer and paint another layer on top to separate different parts of your objects. With layers we can work easier. To work with layers I just fill paint my object. Also I create a new material to paint it on top of my main layer. Right now I just painted the pink material on the same layer. Here on the new button I create a new paint layer. Here on my main layer I want the base color to be white and the other pink color on top. For this I paint the pink color on the second layer that I created. You can see now I can adjust the settings of the layer that is above the main layer. Here I can set the texture resolution, the default is on 2K and here you can select the color bit. On right click we can set the position of the layer. That means on top of the main layer or below. Additionally we can merge the layer with the below one. Here you can see a layer that's been merged. Also a thing we can do is to set the mixing type. Here you can try it on your own out. Not everything works so you'll have to use another. The most one you will use is the multiply and the mix one. The last thing you will learn about layers is the fill and paint layer. Here on my object I want a pink color. For this I create a new layer. 
Now if I want to change the color on my object I have to also change the color in the material. To create a fill layer I select my material and then right click on my layer. Now hit fill layer. Now if I change anything from the nodes it will apply on the object. To change it back to paint layer simply right click on the layer and hit paint layer. Masks are simply just a black or white layer on top of every layer on your object. If you now paint with a black or white brush over the mask then it will erase the created mask. For this tutorial I import some textures and the Armory 3D logo. Now I want the bottom part to be a dark metal texture. Here on top I create a new layer with the rust texture on it. With right click on it you can create a black mask. If I paint now with the white brush over the mask you can see that the hidden texture is visible. But we don't want everything to be visible. For this there are alpha texture maps and different styles, for example rust or dirt. Here I import two of those. The noise texture in armor paint doesn't work well for rusty effects on object. But if we now use our texture and fill the mask then it will look a lot better. Of course we can improve it by connecting a new vmap node and a mapping node to it. Now change values to testing it out. We can also use another texture. For the textures I searched it on Google so it's maybe not free. The textures in the video are just for teaching purposes.
Here on this example I use a sticker, it works the same. Here on the sticker layer I add a black mask and fill it with the already created material. If it looks not good enough we can still adjust the values in the mapping node. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned how to work with layers and masks. Write down in the comments if it helped or just other questions.